So here we have a three wire lid switch. All right. These uh, lid switches usually come on uh, Whirlpool, uh, Maytags, and so on. Crossley, I think Admiral even has them on there. Uh, and it's a few others. So I've come to uh, do this with a lot of my machines now because I call for a price for this three wire, which you have three wires blue, red, and white, white, red, and blue, red, blue, and white, whatever you want to call it. And it was a hundred and something dollar. And that's what people don't understand when you're fixing appliances, parts can be super expensive. You know what I mean? And and people uh you know don't understand that is it's like it takes a lot of money to fix appliance just for me, you know what I mean? Uh even though I buy a lot of parts, the part was still a hundred and something dollars for me. Anyway, getting on to the point. I finally figured out a way to uh bypass this, but it's going to take some ingenuity, it's going to take a little bit of time. All right. So I'm gonna get straight to the point. In here, uh, you have some clips around. You would have to pull this whole piece off. So you would take this piece out the control board in the back of the uh, in the back of the washing machine. You want to pop the metal clips that actually hold this black part into place, and then you want to push this, I believe, to the right side or the left side. I believe it's the right side, though. Anyway, you have little clips around there you see that little clip right there it's not a clip but it's actually holding the top portion in place you have another one right there uh, i wish i can hold the camera and point at the same time maybe i can yes i can all right so i got an idea all right so this work for me All right, anyway, so you have these little clips, and I'm going to use my makeshift flathead. You have these little clips right there. Uh, there's one on that right there, and there's two on the back. And you want to take this, and you want to take something a little like this with a perceivably flat head on it and you want to pry this open like this you don't want to pry it open but you just want to kind of get it off of that teeth that is sitting on so you can pop this open all right i think i got that side Oops, got that side so mind you i am not a cameraman i don't uh confess to be a movie maker i'm not working for warner brothers or Lionsgate. So I'm trying to do the best I can, and if the video helps you out, and that's what's up. Don't get mad if you broke one, because I just did. But normally I would flip this upside down. And uh, normally I would flip this upside down and pop this off. So here, let me see if I can set this up. Let me the way. All right, this is going to be weird, but anyway, I'm going to try to turn this upside down, turn this upside down. Sorry about the light, but you'll see the end result, right? That's all that matters is the end result. We're trying to work our way to, to the end result. Yeah. We almost got you. All right. All right. So we got it. 
So as I told you, there's like four little clips. Uh, one, two, three, four. And this whole piece right here, or this, because it will, you don't want to put your hand on the top of it because you can accidentally push back down. All right, so. So just for film's sake, whatever. All right, so as you can see, I popped that top piece off, right? So this little part is the part we're going to be removing. And I know you're going to ask me, where is it at and all of this good stuff. That's why I'm making a video to show you, all right? You definitely want to have this stationary uh, so it doesn't move. Uh, so I'll tell you what I do or show you what I did. I got this little wood clamp here and I just take it oh. uh, and I just clamped it down like that. All right. We're not worried about it anyway. All right. So what we're trying to do to get this little metal piece out right here what we have to do is we have to pull this white piece out then this whole piece right here is going to pop out and right there right there is the metal clip and you'll see that once you remove this piece all of these pieces slide back together Kind of easily, but it can be difficult if you're not mechanically inclined. Uh, but they'll slide back together easy if you take your time and really, you know, uh, not pry it open to where where the pieces don't lock back in place. Again, it'll save you a hundred and something bucks. If it helps you, it does. It does. It don't. Once again, I am not a cameraman. I do not confess to be a cameraman. So it's going to be quite difficult trying to hold this camera and uh trying to hold this camera and do this all right so I'm, I'm gonna try to do this and show you guys at the same time so my light on reach there. so right there I don't know if you guys can see that right there all right you see that black piece right there that my screwdriver is actually touching on that white piece is kind of locked in there like a teeth so we want to kind of we want to kind of push that out a little bit see how it popped out some all right I'm trying to get a good angle So we want to pop that out slightly and kind of nudge it forward. I'm kind of pushing that way to try to push it out, but it's not going to push out because there is another teeth on the exact same side. And you don't want to tear it out, but you want to just kind of go to each side and slowly work it out, right? Just want to work it out. You don't want to break the piece. You don't want to, you know, push too hard on one side. And if you hold, hold it down as you see my thumb. I'm kind of holding it down, and at the same token, pushing forward. I want to kind of nudge it forward as I go along. Do it for the cam. Do it for the cam. Do it for the camera. Come on. Now, if y'all, if I wasn't doing this video, this damn thing would be at the bin out. Excuse my language. But it would have. And that's the truth. And you also want to hold on to this, this part right here. So you don't drop any of that. So let me do it this way. 
So I'm going to just see how I got my hand right there leaned up against it. So I'm going to actually try to push with that as I'm popping these, these clips. And you'll see it once you get to yours. You'll see that there's little white. There we go. Little white teeth. And I'll show them to you what they look like in a few seconds. Again, you don't want to be, you know, trying to tear it up. Alright, so finally got it out. I think we might have bent a piece. Can you see how that came out? That piece slides in there. And it will slide back in there if you get be patient with it and you know pop it back in there. But I accidentally see that teeth right there. It's not supposed to be over that far. So I actually broke it. See? Just for y'all, but I got a ton of these laying around, so it doesn't really make a difference. But I'm just showing you the logistics of how to take it out. All right. So now we got this white piece out. All right. Be careful because there is a spring right in there that, if you're not careful, will pop out and go somewhere. All right. So this piece right here. You just want to kind of lift up. It's kind of hard with. All right, you see? All right, so lift up ever so slightly and pull it forward. Right, oh. And look. Look what happened. This same piece right here just popped out. All right. So that's what we want to remove. All right. And I can pretty much guarantee you that if your lid lock is blinking or your washing machine is not going in a spin cycle or, or you've ran it through a diagnostic mode and it's telling you that, hey, the lid lock is fault and the lid switches, you know, are not working the correct way. This is going to be the piece that you want to remove. It's kind of complicated, but if you want to save a hundred and some dollars, then this is what you got to do. All right. And I just want to emphasize this on this video because I had another video of an older model lid lock switch where a guy went on there and commented and said, you know, this is the giddiest. I'm using uh, what's names. Use a curse word, said the video wasn't helpful to him. And, you know, if the video don't help you, then go somewhere else. Nobody's forcing you to watch this video. You know what I mean? If the video is, is helping you, then just make a like, a subscribe or something. And, and, and you know what I mean? If it helped you and you ain't got to spend the money that you thought you was going to spend, then why not put a like up? Why not, you know, subscribe? Help me grow. I'm trying to help y'all help me. But the guy went on there. That's my compressor. Took off in a few seconds. That went on there, and you know, ah, oh, this is the giddiest video I ever seen. And like I said, I'm doing this. I technically don't have to do this uh, because I get paid a lot of money to come out to somebody's house and switch their lid lock. So why would I want to get this information away? Why am I giving it away? Because I can only be blessed by giving what I have away. I can't keep what I have and continue to be blessed. I can only be blessed by giving what I giving away what I have and that's some of my knowledge, not all of my knowledge, but some of my knowledge because somebody else blessed me with the knowledge. All right? We can't that's what's wrong with people and I don't want to make this a, you know, a political video, but that's what's wrong with people. People don't know how to say, "Man, that was a, you know, a great video or not even a great video, not uh, you know, based on the cinematography or whatever, videography or whatever you want to call it, 
but based on the knowledge that I'm passing on. It may not help you, but it may help your family member or somebody else who having the same problem with these type of washing machines right here. These type of washing machines that is a whirlpool. It may help you out. You know what I mean? So if they help you out, please just like, subscribe, and I'll do more videos on more in-depth. What's the name? But I do not recommend this. But everybody don't have the money to go out and spend a hundred and some dollars on a lid lock switch right at that time. And if you're one of the people that are watching this video, then you're one of the people who probably don't have the money, as we all don't have money at certain times. So if it helps you out, please like, subscribe. So anyway, I'm going to continue to put this back together. It's going to be kind of difficult with one hand. And if we lift this up. There's that spring I was telling you about right there. See that. It's that spring and you don't want that to pop out, right? So we're going to kind of slide this back in place. And you'll notice that that little kind of keyhole right there will go right here. So it'll line up the correct way that keyhole right there will kind of lock into this little place and that's where that should sit so let's try to get it back in position right, so i'm doing this looking through the camera through the camera see what i tell you that little keyhole will fit right there all right now we want to try to lock this in place so I'm trying to do this with one hand and holding the camera. Right. So you don't want to ram it back in there. So I don't know if you guys seen how easy that slid back in there once I got it in the right position. All right. All right so I'm going to take it back out again and I'm going to try to get it in there. So once you get it in the right position, right, kind of move back. See that? Now we know it's in the right position. Why? Because it's not, you know, angled up or, you know, the little piece that I was telling you is there go the keyhole slot that we looked at earlier. There go the T for that. The spring is still in place. And once this goes back like this, that spring is being... Uh, Congealed? No, congealed ain't the right word. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. That spring is being pushed. All right, so now we got that back. We removed our little piece. This is what it looks like. All right. So you basically don't have to do anything up here. Nothing really mainly up here. Everything is kind of sort of in the front of the lid lock or at least where the lid lock slides or the striker slides down in there all right i did pull one uh apart earlier that i don't know if you guys can see that right there Let me see. some good light in there you see that corrosion right there it's kind of hard because this is a garbage phone all right there we go so you see that green corrosion this contact right here, this copper contact that my, you probably can't see it because it's flat, but I got my hand on it. This contact, when this pushes back, there's a piece of metal that, that hits this like this, all right? So if you got corrosion in there, you want to try to take something little like this screwdriver and try to scrape it off but make sure you don't bend this copper to where it's deformed and it's not getting the uh, right connectivity all right so let's finish putting this back up remember i broke the piece in the uh in the what's name so a simple way to put this back in there is these teeth right here i call them teeth i don't know the technical term or do they have a technical term but they teeth to me all right these teeth 
will fit down in this slot. Alright, that's how you know you're on the right track. These teeth right here, one, two, will fit down in th this slot and this slot. Alright, so if I take this, and it's kind of hard because I'm doing camera view. Alright, hold on one second. And see how I kind of took these teeth and pointed it down towards, instead of holding it like that, I'm kind of tilting it in there all right and I'm probably gonna try to get this in place so simple way is to take it angle it forward bring it back a little bit while I still angle forward push it down and then pop it back so you want to take it angle it forward so the teeth slide down in these slots that I showed you pull it back not back far enough to where it actually comes out of the slot but as you can see it goes up under that and then you pop it forward so now we got that piece back in place all right so now we have this right here which this little piece right here just push that forward and you see how there's a little bevel or these two plastic pieces right here. This piece and this piece holds this. So just make sure that's sitting in there pretty flush. And we want to take our original top piece. It only sits on there one way. We want to kind of put it back on there. Well, actually, you want to angle it back first, I believe. All right. All right, you heard those clips. I'm going to angle it back. And now we got our piece back together. All right. I guarantee you, if you have a three wire, not a four wire, but I'm pretty for sure it's the same with a four wire. If you have a three wire that looks like this, with this type of wire, this type of, all right, that if you do what I showed you, remove this metal piece right here, and um, if it's your lid lock, and put it back in your machine, and put it back in there the same way that you pulled it out, I'm pretty for sure that it will run. And if it does run, please just like, subscribe. It's not going to hurt you if you never watch another one of my videos again. Uh, but it does help my little channel to grow. I'm not trying to become rich or famous. I just want to help people. All right. All right, family. That's the end of this video. I'm going to get this installed. Well, not get it installed. I'm going to put it up for another time. And that's the end of that one. Actually, I'm going to do another video on the four wire and see if that one works as well. But I got to get a four wire machine. All my machines are out on the floor right now. So thank you, family, for watching the video. Hopefully, uh, it helps you. If you got any questions, feel free to message me. I try to get back in touch with people as soon as I can. Thanks.